he would, uh, you know, we got into it. We got into it. I mean, he would, every other day he would know his lines perfectly, right? And then the next day he wouldn't know anything. And the next day he'd be perfect. And so I was like, just, do you want me to come over and run lines for me? He's like, I got it. I got it. And eventually, you know, one day we were like, you know, shooting like a, a, a race car scene. And so I was going up in a helicopter to shoot aerial footage. And, you know, look, you can't see faces from a helicopter for the most part, right? So as I'm going up in the helicopter, just about to take off, I get a call from the assistant director who says, hey, Burt Reynolds, his, his back hurts, and he wants to know if he can go for the day. And I'm like, yeah, just put a stand-in in the white Boss Hog suit and tell him to have a good day. So I take off and I fly around for three hours and shooting all these cars flying by and I see the Burt Reynolds stand-in waving and whatever, doing all this stuff. And so at the end of the day, I come down and then the next day we're shooting a scene with Burt and Jessica Simpson. Jess is sitting there waiting for uh, Burt. He's not coming out of the trailer. And... And so then, you know, I'm like, where's Bert? And the assistant director's like, I don't know, where's Bert? And so everyone's on the walkie, where's Bert, where's Bert? And the second assistant director walks up and, and he's whispering to the assistant director and he comes over to me, he goes, Bert, Bert won't come out of his trailer. He's, he's pissed off at you. And I said, why? He goes, well, he's pissed that you flew around for three hours while he stood on stage, you know, in, a, in, in his white monkey suit. And I'm like, I, I said he could leave. And the, the assistant director goes, yeah, I told him. I told him he could leave, but then I went and told Joe Don Baker, who was also in the movie, I told him he could leave too. And Joe Don said, I'll stay. So Bert then looked at Joe Don and said, I'll stay too. <laughs> Trying to be there for his fellow actor, right? <laughs> now he's like, he wants to see you, the producer, the assistant director, and the second assistant director in his trailer now. So we walk, this, this like production assistant leads us, all four of us, over to his trailer and the production assistant knocks on the door, and the fucking door kicks open, and there's Burt Reynolds, and he's sort of half through hair and makeup because he's got white pants, a white wife beater. He's got the white part here, but he's got his black centerpiece, right? And he's fucking furious. And he goes, get the fuck in here! And we all file in, including the production assistant who just got caught up in the shuffle. Yeah. Yeah. And so now... The A's probably had a great story. Now yeah, I, I, I would love to talk to that person. But So we're sitting there. I, we're standing there in a semicircle around Bert, who's sitting down. And he goes, I directed a couple of pictures in my day, and there's not a lens on Earth that can see a man's face from a helicopter. And I'm like, I know, Bert. I said you could go. He goes, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And, and, he, and he, then he's going into Jimmy Stewart and Orson Welles and all this fucking shit. And... And he's like, and then there's an, he's, but he's spitting mad. Like he's furious. How many takes are we going to shoot in this goddamn movie? And I'm like, as soon as you get a good one, we'll move on. And he goes, my goddamn back hurts. You know how many stunts I've done of this? And he's like riffing on all sorts of shit, right? And then there's a knock on the door and he goes, come in. And a woman walks in with a little black bag and he stands up and he pulls his pants and his underwear down and puts his butt towards us, the woman pulls out a syringe, shoots him up, and then he goes, get the fuck out of here. And then he pulls his pants up and she leaves. Then he goes into this like... <laughs> they say Demerol's as good as Percocet. It isn't. It isn't. I like Percodan, but you gotta take it with a full stomach. And he's just riffing on different pain pills. That went on for a minute. And we're standing there like, is this the greatest moment I've ever lived? I mean, <laughs> this is my hero chewing me out, now on fucking injections, whatever, because of his back, poor guy. And he's just fucking flying, right? And then he starts to get a grip. You know, he's like, I saw your movie, Super Duper Pooper Scooper. And he starts going around the room, and he looks at the producer, and he goes, because he knows who butters his bread. He goes, I like you. And he goes, the, second, uh, the first, uh, first AD is from Texas. He goes, I like you too. And then he looks at the, uh, the PA who, who accidentally brought us, and he goes, I don't know you. <laughs> and he looks at me, he goes, but I don't like you. You want to see a real movie? And he 
frisbees a DVD at me, and it hits me in the chest, and I look at it, and he goes, now get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm really sorry. But he goes, get the fuck out. And so we leave, and I'm like, now what, right? And my producer's like, what, what did he give you? And I looked at the d- DVD, and it says, Burt Reynolds, Why My Back Hurts. <laughs> and I'm like, let's go watch it, right? So... We go in my trailer, and five of us, four of us, we all sit and watch the thing, and it's every stunt he's ever done set to classical music. Like he's leaping off buildings, grabbing onto a tree, the branch breaks, he slams to the ground, smashing cars and smoking the bandit, running with the football in longest yard, getting drilled, fights, rolling downhills. And at the end of it, you're like, we were all just smiling, and you're like, what a fucking badass this guy is. I mean... Uh, you just love him even more. Like, he's such a tough guy. And, you know, then he comes out, and he comes, does the scene. He knows every line, and he drills it. Doesn't mention it. We don't even say a word about this unbelievably bizarre thing that just happened. And we have one more week. Every day he knows his lines. Every day he knows his lines. Until the very last day, he messed up one line, and then he goes, Fuck! Goddamn stupid Indian! And he goes... Not you, me, I'm one quarter Cherokee, the other kind of Indian, not you. 